If you ever use ChatGPT to write anything for you, you've probably been a little bit frustrated with its default writing style. This is actually where most people stop using ChatGPT. They write something using ChatGPT, they read it and they say, well, that doesn't sound anything like me. I'm not gonna post that, I'm not gonna use that. So if you want to actually get useful things out of ChatGPT, you need to train it based on your writing style. And it's really simple to do this. And I wanna show you three different ways where you could do this. So the very first option is you could start with a prompt before you actually ask it to do anything for you. So this is the initial prompt. It's gonna basically prime chat GPT with your own writing style as an example. So it just says, analyze the provided text, identify key characteristics in tone, writing style, reading level, and delivery. And it says, adapt those, emulate the same style, tone, and delivery in your response that aligns with the sample, and then focus on mirroring the language, the sentence structure, and distinctive feature. Right here, I say, once you're finished, tell me that you're ready for the next prompt, because sometimes it just uses the inserted text and it just goes to work, and that's not what you want. And that's typically what happens with the free version. That's why I always use GPT-4, because it just does a far better job if you're using this for work or professional reasons, it just makes sense. Uh, I'm not affiliated with OpenAI or ChatGPT, but I do recommend GPT-4 over 3.5 for pretty much any use case. And I'm gonna type in the sample text here in these brackets and I'm gonna press enter. And basically what it does is it says, now I'm ready right here, but it figured out the tone, the writing style, the reading level delivery, and some other things here as a little bit of a bonus. But basically these four, this is what I asked it for. I need these four so it knows how to write like me. It analyzed my writing style, what I gave it, and it gave me this set of instructions. So at this point it's ready, it's been primed. That's called priming when you use this kind of starter prompt to get it going. And now you could ask it to write whatever you want. But that's just the first option, using that prompt to start a conversation. The other option is you could take this right here and you could copy it and click on your profile option. This is option number two. And then click this thing called custom instructions. And right over here, it says, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? You could actually paste exactly those things, the tone, writing style, reading level, and delivery right over here. I already had one that I had created before. So mine is a little bit more detailed than that just because I've ran this through a few different prompts. But these four should really get you going with this set of instructions. Now, these custom instructions, if you haven't used these, they basically set up ChatGPT at the account level. So every time you open a new chat, it has this information in the background. You don't have to do this with a prompt priming technique that I showed you as the first option. So adding this, to your set of custom instructions really gets ChatGPT ready in the background. So every time you start a new chat, it knows how to write like you. So experiment with the first option and this option, and then test out a couple of different prompts and see what kind of results you get. And then you could tweak it from there to write even more closely like you. Now, the third option is called custom GPTs. So that requires the paid version of ChatGPT called GPT-4 or if you're part of Teams or you have it through your work, you could go to the Explore GPTs tab and then you could create a GPT from here. This brings you to this page that allows you to create these little mini GPTs with a very specific writing style and a very specific set of instructions. So I've made a different video about this, but basically with these little GPTs, let me show you one I already have. I've created these privately, so it says only me right here. You could also make them public and put them in the GPT store, which is a place that other people could use to find GPTs. But for example, I've made a bunch of different ones. I made one just to write email. I made one that's a general copywriter that knows my writing style. This one, I only fed it email copy that I wrote so it could write emails like me, sales emails in this case. You could do it for customer service emails, whatever the case. And let me go ahead and edit this. But in the configure tab, this is basically where you could create it using prompts. And in the configure tab, you could give it more instruction. You could upload files. And again, I'm gonna give you a reference here to how to build these GPTs in a second. But right here, this is where the set of instructions are gonna come from. And you could then give it some writing samples just like we did before. But again, these little GPTs 
are for a very specific narrow use case. So they won't get confused with all the things that big chat GPT could do. They would only do exactly what you want with the specific use case. So this is my main recommendation nowadays is actually not using the prompting technique, not using the stuff inside of the custom instructions, but using a mini GPT that has a very specific custom instruction just for this use case. And you could save it three different ways where you could save it for only me. That's what I'm gonna save it for, so it could write like me. But if you wanna share it with your team, they have a version where you could share it with a link or with a team, with the team's plan. And there's a, every one where that goes to the GPT store and it's discoverable if you want other people to use what you've built. So what I recommend next is watching how to build a GPT. And we also released a complete GPT course for entrepreneurs. So that one shows you all the GPTs I've built. It shows you how to customize them further, by having things called actions, those are things that could automate these GPTs to do things for you, like send emails on your behalf. And I also show you in that course how to add them to your website. That's all part of Skill Leap AI, which is a subscription program where we have over 20 different AI courses all for one monthly price. So every time we release a new course, you get instant access to it and you can watch it. The GPT custom GPT course is our latest course. So I'll link that below as well, but make sure you watch how to build a GPT video next and I'll see you then.